In this video, we're gonna be working on this tablet that was mailed in to us, A1822. I just removed the LCD digitizer. This is the one with the fingerprint button. And here's what Carlos wrote. I came across your YouTube channel as well as heard about your company from the Leo Laporte Tag Guy podcast. I have an iPad fifth generation 32 gigs Wi-Fi. iPad will not take power nor power up. I took it over to the Apple store back in June 2019 and they checked it out and confirmed the device was not damaged due to water and would never power up again. Apple wanted $249 plus tax for a refurb. I declined. Okay. And Carlos gave us the okay to proceed with his tablet and that's what we're going to do today. Hopefully we can help him out. And let's see what's going on. But before I proceed with the repair, I want to give a huge thanks. A huge thanks to Mark for sending these four boxes of gloves. Boxes are coming from New York. I really appreciate it. He said he just wanted us to be safe and he sent us four boxes. Honestly, I had two boxes left here at the shop, but now we have four more. So thank you very much, Mark. I really appreciate it. These are the same gloves that we are using here. So they are really hard to find right now because of the pandemic. There are still a lot of good people out there in the world. Thank you very much. Now, there's no way to extract information unless we are able to turn this tablet on. So let's go ahead and see what's going on and why the tablet is not powering on. The first thing I want to do is use the TriStar tester just to see if there's any problems with the charging circuit or the dock flex cable. Okay, so it's testing right now. And pass, so no problems with the TriStar, no problems with the flex. And the charging circuit appears to be good. This has been wrong a couple of times, but uh, I'm gonna trust what it says right now because it was moving pretty fast and it showed us a pass. So I'm gonna assume the charging circuit is good. I'm gonna take a look at the motherboard just to see if there's any physical damage anywhere on the board. Okay, so this is where the home button flex cable connects. Right here, everything looks good. I'm looking to see if we have any discolored component, any blown component, any missing component. In the last couple of videos, we worked on devices that had missing components. And missing components happens if the person trying to pry the screen off the board, they accidentally pry components off the board as well. So they put their nail. Let's take a look, for example, at uh, this part here. Let's say you want to pry the screen connector off the board. Sometimes the nail or whatever prying object you are trying to pry the connector with, you may accidentally pry those two components along with the connector. I mean, these are microscopic components and they are very close to the FPC connector. So it's very easy to knock off components when trying to pry a connector off the board. So I'm looking for possibly any damage on the board or any missing component. Uh, right now, I did not even plug the tablet into an amp meter to see how much amps it's drawing, but I will do so shortly. I'm just anxious to see if there's any physical damage on the board. And nothing obvious. I did not take off this shield here, but before I do so, let me plug this into an amp meter to see what's going on. I have the battery disconnected here and let's see. Amp meter is showing 0 0.75 amps being drawn by the tablet. Okay, 0 0.75. It's hard to see the meter on camera, but it's 0 0.75. And if I disconnect the separator between the battery and the motherboard, we still have the same amperage, 0 0.76. Now, what if we, if I try to hit the power button, nothing happens, it's stuck at 0 0.77. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is inspect the board under a thermal cam to see if we see anything obvious. 
I want to see if there's any signs of life on the board. And the thermal cam is going to show us if there's any signs of life anywhere on the board or if anything is turning on or if there's any short. Okay, so this is the board. This is the area we were inspecting right here. I'm going to put this in automatic mode. I plugged the cable in and look at this. We see a heat spot coming from right over here. What's this here? Uh, pointing to the left side of the Wi-Fi module, right here. I do not know if there are any components here or if the heat is coming from back of the board, but we're going to inspect. Look at this, it's heating up more and more. Okay, anything else on the board? Nothing. What if we try to pinpoint where heat is coming from? Let's go to manual mode. Yeah, heat is coming from right over here. Let's check and see what's going on in this area. So it's to the left of this chip here. Uh-huh, it could be one of those caps. Let's test to see if we have a short. We're going to put the meter in diode mode. Meter in diode mode and and we have a short. We have a short right here. And short on this one. What about the other side of the IC? Short. Wow, short everywhere. It could be that one of those capacitors uh, is short into ground. Heat is coming from this area. Or it could be the IC itself. We don't know. I'll start by removing those two caps and see if short is still there. Hopefully one of the caps is what's causing the short because if it's neither of those caps and heat is coming from this area, then uh, my guess is it would be this chip here because if the short was originating from those caps here, then heat would start from this area as well. Uh, but this area is not heating up even though they are shorting to ground. So right now I'm guessing it's one of those two caps or this I see here. Let's get rid of the first cap and see. I'm not using my hot tweezers because it's very hard to get the hot tweezers in between the top component and the capacitor. Let's see if we still have a short. And we still have a short. Let's remove the other one. I want to put this somewhere safe so I can put it back. And this one is out. And put it on the side with its sister. Let's see if we still have a short. And we still have a short. So problem is most likely the IC. Problem is most likely this IC.
Okay, it's gone. And now we're gonna test and see if we still have a short. And look at that, the short is gone. The short is gone. So the Wi-Fi chip is what was causing the short. Right now we have to see if the tablet will turn on. Before I connect the LCD and digitizer, I want to look at the amp meter just to see what readings I get. So let's do that right now. And if I look at the amp meter, that's normal reading. 0.1 amps being drawn because I have the battery disconnected. Before I was getting 0.75 amps being drawn by the tablet, even though the battery was disconnected. So uh, that's the normal reading, 0 to 0 0.1 when the battery is disconnected. I'm going to remove the separator between the battery and the board so we can connect the battery. And what readings do we get? We get 0 0.98 amps being drawn by the tablet, and that's normal. So that tells me that the tablet should work based on the amperage reading that I'm seeing. But one way to find out. Because even if the short is gone, and even if the amp meter is reading good, if we cannot get the tablet to turn on, then we did nothing. So let's go ahead and plug the digitizer in first. Digitizer is plugged, and while at it, let's plug the home button. I mean, right now, we want to back up the information, and that's what's most important. And let's plug the LCD, customer's LCD. Also, I found my unicorn. Really? Yeah. Okay. Just give me a second, Poppy. Okay, so moment of truth. I do not know if the battery is charged, but we're going to find out. Press and hold. And nothing. The battery is low. Oh, right there, right there. <laughs> Yay! I, I uh, pressed on the power button and home button for 10 seconds and it came on. Wow. It came on. It looks awesome. like an apple. Yes, amazing, amazing, awesome job. So now we can go ahead and back up the data for the customer. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh-huh. And leave a comment. If you have any questions. All right. And we'll see you again in the next video. Good job. And also bye. Okay, also bye. Don't forget to bye. Oh.